When people walk into the environment of this kind of sculpture, some reactions are quite anxious. What on earth am I looking at? What is this? Is it a science experiment? What is it for? But then the work starts to respond back. And so those kind of questions tend to turn pretty quickly into a kind of a, a curious, even wondering conversation. I'm Philip Beasley. I'm a sculptor and an architect, and I work with experimental systems as part of a quite a large research group called the Living Architecture Systems Group that's developed quite a strong collaboration with colleagues in Indiana. We conceived the idea of making a very substantial test bed, a sculpture which could embody some of the spirit here at Luddy Hall, thinking about how engineering could shift and involve emotion and deeply felt values and the kind of interwoven, interconnected systems that make up our world. There are whispers that will quite literally speak back to you as you move throughout this piece. There are gestures, small vibrations and twitches. There's emanations of light, tiny bursts of light that will ripple out in, in waves. And those are key to work with your own gestures as well and your own movements. We work very deliberately with open-ended exploration where the environment is acting and offering itself and where the reactions are available and people are simply invited to explore and discover their own relationships.